Productivity is never an accident. It's a result of commitment to excellence, intelligent planning, and focused efforts. The top 1% of students, they don't get the top grades because they're naturally geniuses, although some of them could be. They get those top grades because they're not only able to maximize the benefit that they get from their studying sessions, they also balance it with a lifestyle that's sustainable and that supports them. But how do they do it? Firstly, we need to learn how to study efficiently. You don't really need to learn how to manage your time if you're studying 10 hours a day because, well, most of your time is going to be spent studying. But if we learn how to study efficiently and we stay consistent and we start early, we can cut that down to three hours, two hours, an hour, or even 30 minutes a day. That's when we start managing our time to maximize the benefit that we get from those important studying sessions. But how do we actually study efficiently? Well, I say this in every video, so I'll try to keep it short. Use the 80-20 rule. When you study, focus on the important things like making flashcards and going through them, banging out practice questions instead of just reading and highlighting. If you want to really know how to make your studying more efficient, click the I in the top right and watch that video. Now, one thing I started noticing is that studying is not that much more different than any other productive task. And what I mean by that is that you could go to the fitness niche, for example. You could take some advice from them, change it up a little, and implement it in your studying. For example, in the fitness side of YouTube, they always recommend that you increase your sleep quality and your sleep quantity. And the same thing can be said about studying. If you're not sleeping that well, you're not going to get good grades. It's that simple. But what does that have to do with time management? Well, we could take from the grades of productivity, even if they're outside of the studying niche. Elon Musk, for example. Whether you like him or not, we need to all admit that he's probably one of the most productive men on the planet. So we could implement one of his greatest habits, which is using a calendar and scheduling everything. Now, we don't have to go to the extreme that he does and schedule our day in five minute blocks. But having a calendar where you plan out roughly every hour of your day, that could double or even triple your productivity. If you want to know how to best use a calendar to schedule your day, check this video out by Thomas Frank. We also need to think of studying differently than we usually would if we want to manage our time effectively. But before I explain what I mean, the exam season is coming up. So if you want to book a one-to-one -one session where me and you could work together to make your studying technique optimized and as efficient as possible, click the link in the description. Now, what do I mean by thinking differently about studying? One of the hacks that saved me a lot of time when studying is to not stick to the traditional understanding of what studying is. The traditional understanding is that you sit down on your desk for an hour at a time in front of a textbook or a practice paper and you just study. While the majority of your studying should look like that, if you implement what I'm about to tell you, it will change how you study and save you a lot of time. Now, I don't go through my digital flashcards on my desk. Instead, I try to find 10 to 15 minute blocks in my day where I could go through them. Let's say I'm in the car getting dropped off to school. That's 15 minutes where I could go through my flashcards. Or I'm supposed to go out with my friend, but they're a bit late. That's another 15 minutes. If you find four of those blocks in a day, that's already an hour of studying. And we made use of time, which let's be honest, we would have spent scrolling through social media instead. And guess what? Now you get to study an hour less every day. You could use that time to do a hobby or even sleep more. And now my final tip, study early because most fun things happen in the evening. On the weekend or in a holiday or if I'm on study leave, I'll make sure to study as early as possible because no one else is awake to distract me. If I decide to stay up late and sleep in instead and I start studying at 1 p.m. instead of 7 a.m., that's when everyone else is awake, whether friends or family, and so the distractions are endless. But if I wake up early and then study for two hours, for example, I now have the rest of the day to do things of less priority because if I get distracted, for example, I would have still made use of most of my day. Not to mention the insane benefits of studying in the morning because of how refreshed your brain is. If you delay studying until like 6 p.m., that's maybe 10 hours of your brain awake and working. So by the time you get to studying, your brain is already tired. But if you study in the morning instead, you're going to be refreshed. And trust me, you'll notice a difference. I can do the same paper twice, and I'll drop a grade or even two if I did it in the night compared to if I had done it in the morning. Remember, productivity is not an accident. Commit to excellence, plan intelligently, and then execute. And I promise you, you'll get those top grades.